So these types of gatherings are important. They need to understand it's a part of the religion. Just like Salat is a part of the religion. Just like Ramadan is a part of the religion. Respecting your parent is a part of the religion. Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, وَلَا تَكُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ Allah Azza wa says to the children, don't say uff to your parent. Don't say even the sound. And uff is not a word. It's just a sound. Don't show them any indication that you are upset or displeased with them. Our children need to be reminded of it. And we have to remind them of it. We have to remind them of these etiquettes because my dear brothers and sisters, and we're going to mention some examples of that. If we don't remind them that it's an obligation in a religion, if we don't inform them of these types of etiquettes, then we have not done our best in guiding our children. And we know, we've mentioned it in narration before, khutbas and the likes, that Allah Azza wa Jal uh, mentioned in Surah Al-Tahreem, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amal, ku anfusukum, wa ahlikum nara, O you who believe, save yourselves and your family from the hellfire. And we mentioned the statement of Imam Al-Qurtubi in his book of Tafsir, Imam Al-Qurtubi in his book of Tafsir, and I recently found out that it's translated, I'm surprised in English, Imam Al-Qurtubi said, the scholars of Islam said that when Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah At-Tahreem said, save yourselves and your family from the hellfire, your children are a part of yourselves, not a part of your family. Because your children are from you. They are your blood and flesh. So when Allah says, save yourself, Allah means you and your children. Because your children are from you. So when Allah Azza wa Jal says, save yourself and your children, Remember the statement of Imam Ali ibn, of, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, teach them and discipline them. Teach them and discipline them. So we have to teach our children these things about these types of etiquettes.